This video will focus on adding three add-ins by making a double first. You have been working on double since the beginning of first grade when you were working on your facts, your basics facts of addition to 20. So remember you've worked on uh, knowing what three plus three is automatically, eight plus eight, five plus five, six plus six, four plus four, nine plus nine, two plus two, and seven plus seven. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to have these doubles, but we're also gonna have a third add-in, okay? So we're gonna have three numbers that we're gonna to add together, and what we're gonna do is we are going to look for the doubles, and we're gonna add those together first before we add the last add-in. So let's get started. So here you can see that we have an equation um, or an expression, and then once we actually solve it, we'll have an equation of three plus two plus three. So an add-in plus an add-in plus an add-in will give us our sum, okay? So I'm looking here and I'm trying to think, is there a way two numbers I can join together that will um, give me my doubles? And I can see that three plus three is a double. So I want to solve three plus three first, which gives me six. Okay, now I'm not done because I've only added two of my add-ins. I still have to add in the third add-in. So now I'm going to take my six and I'm going to add in this two, which then gives me six, seven, eight. So the sum of three plus two plus three is eight. So let's review what we did real quick, all right? we had a three add-ins. And I wanted to use a strategy of using my doubles first and then adding on what's left over. So I'm looking here and I recognize that three plus three is a double, okay? So I added three plus three first, and that gives me six. But I'm not done because I have not added in my last add-in or my last number of two. So now I, now I take the sum of three plus three, which is six, and I add on my two, which gives me eight, a sum of eight. Let's try one more. So let's look here. Now it's written differently here and this is okay. It just means that whatever is on this side of the equation is the same as or is equal to what's on this side of the equation, okay? So if this bothers you written this way, you can definitely rewrite it and just put two plus seven plus seven and then put your equals blank on the other side. Alrighty, so let's get started. Remember our goal was that we are going to be adding three add-ins, one, two, three. And we're gonna look for doubles. We wanna add our doubles first and then add on the last add-in. So when I'm looking here, I can see that my doubles would be seven and seven. So I'm going to add seven plus seven and I know my doubles, so that's gonna give me 14, okay? Seven plus seven is 14. I'm not done yet. I still have to add on this third add-in, okay? So I'm gonna take the sum of seven plus seven, which is 14, and I'm going to add on this two, which that's 14 plus two, that's 14, 15, 16. So now my sum is 16. So let's just review this one more time. Our goal was to be able to add three add-ins by adding doubles first. My doubles in this equation was seven plus seven. I added that to get 14. Now I have to take that 14 and add on the two, which gives me a sum of 16. All right, so take a good look at all these doubles again. Three plus three, eight plus eight, five plus five, six plus six, four plus four, nine plus nine, two plus two, and seven plus seven. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to go and try to solve some on your own. Remember, look for the doubles first and add those together first. Then you finally add on the third add-in. Good luck.